poly tunnel again. Uh, time to harvest uh, some of these grapes. And we have got some lovely, lovely big bunches. Now they've really come on well this year. And this grapevine goes up and over all the way down there. So I'm going to harvest some of the bunches, um, mainly before the wasps get on them, because the wasps are on the prowl. And um, the plan is to uh, turn these grapes into grape juice, which will then be bottled for uh, drinking. So I'm going to crack on and harvest my grapes, and then I will show you um, how I, I juice them. Right, here we go. I've um, juiced, I'm juicing the grapes. Um, I'm using a steam juicer, so it's on top of the stove. The bottom section um, is filled with water. The middle section has a funnel that comes up. So as this heats up, the steam comes up the funnel. And this is like a colander with all the fruit in. So the steam heats the fruit, the fruit all bursts, all the juice comes out, goes out through the colander um, into the bottom here, down this pipe, and then I can decant it straight into jars or bottles, depending on what I'm doing. So I can tell the first lot's ready because I can see it sitting here in the pipe. So all I do is release the little gate and it all runs into the jar. Um, it is absolutely boiling hot. The jars have been sterilized. And um, last year I did have a bit of an accident where I scalded my foot. Right, I'm gonna leave about an inch headspace on the jars. Let's decant that out the bottom of there. And that's how I scalded myself last year. I tipped boiling fruit juice all over my foot. So, so you do have to be careful. So that's the first jar done. And I'll just grab a second jar. all that out and pop that in there out of the way so and then that's it once um, I filled all my jars and I finished juicing I will um, I, I then plan to water bath them and uh, water bathing will seal them up as well and then they'll be good for storage for well you, we've usually used them all by the time we start to harvest again next year. So it just means that we're uh, able to store them and they're not taking up freezer space. So I'll, uh, I'll put some photos up of when I've uh, got them all water bathed. <laughs> 